How to update the DaVention Magic Cube firmware. First you need to purchase the Wakara UPO2 upgrade tool and UPO2 adapter. Right here. Then you need to go to wakara.com, create a user account, and go to software update. You want to download UPO2 program upgrade tools. And you also want to go and download the uh, Magic Cube firmware. So open this up, click the top one, and save that file, the bottom ones, to run the Android software. Once you get that downloaded, uh, unzip it and I put it on the desktop because it's quick and easy to get to. Once you do that, install the UPO2 program update software. Now hook up the Magic Cube as shown here in the picture. Socket 1 is going to be blue, red, black. Socket 2 is going to be yellow red and black. So once you got these two connected, go ahead and open up the UPO2 software. You want to click connect. Once you click connect and you have the Magic Cube hooked up the way I showed you and the UPO2 software plugged into your USB port, flick the power switch on the uh, Magic Cube. You'll see it says getting device MTC is found. Now what you want to do is click the dialog box here and open up the AIDE.bin file. Once you open that up it'll say file correctly loaded then all you do is hit upgrade and you'll see firmware upgrading upgrade firmware successful. So that's step one. Then what you want to do is turn off the power to the Magic Cube. And it'll say it's, if it's been removed. Go here to my second picture and you need to swap the sockets here. Socket 3 will be yellow red, black. Socket 4 will be blue, red, and black. So go ahead and swap those out. Once you swapped out the wires to socket 3 and 4, then all you do is turn on the power to the magic cube again. It'll say getting the device information MTC01 is found. Now this time you want to open up the main.bin file. Once it's loaded here, file correctly loaded, you hit upgrade, firmware upgrading, upgrade firmware successful and that's it. You've now upgraded the firmware in the Magic Cube and you've upgraded both files in the correct order with the correct sockets and that's it. All you gotta do is turn off the power to the Magic Cube and quit the software and you're all set to use the Magic Cube with the new firmware installed.